Eyewitness News begins with breaking news. Good evening, everyone. I'm Cherise Gibson. A federal judge in Florida has voided the national mask mandate covering commercial air travel as well as public transportation. Uh, the public come, the ruling rather comes as the CDC would have extended the mandate, but the judge says the CDC did not follow the rules when it issued the mandate. The Department of Justice is taking a closer look at that ruling and many local leaders said that they're still trying to figure out exactly what this ruling might mean for them. Sam Winstrom joining us live now from Air Armstrong International Airport with a little bit more. Sam. That's right, Sharice. And as you can see all around us, most of the people are still wearing masks, but some people have gotten the word and decided to take theirs off. But as for the agencies and the people that run the airport, they're still scrambling right now to figure out what exactly this ruling means for them. Because that mandate covered all forms of public transportation, airports, planes, buses, taxis, even Ubers and Lyfts fell under this mandate and are no longer required by the government to wear masks when inside those vehicles or in the hubs where they park. So that mandate was recently extended by the CDC, who said they wanted extra time to study the BA2 variant of COVID-19. It was set to expire in just about two weeks on May 3rd. But as of right now, the Justice Department said, has not said whether they will appeal the decision or not. But if they want to, the window is pretty brief. So we reached out to the RTA and airport officials for clarification on what this means for them, and we'll let you know as soon as we hear back. But for now, reporting live from MSY Airport, Sam Winstrom, Eyewitness News. All right, Sam, thank you for that update. We'll have continuing coverage of the ongoing changes to COVID protocols. Just look for any updates on our website, our free smartphone app, as well as our social media pages.